This is Kelly McKiernan of BZ Power talking with Arthur Parsons of TT Games. He's the lead designer for Bionicle Heroes. Could you tell us a little bit about the game? Uh, Bionicle Heroes is an action adventure game set on the island of Voyanui, which is the, the location for the, the, the 2006 uh, range, which you'll be aware of. Um, the, the, the game focuses on the, uh, the Piraka and the Anaika, and the Anaika's like, search to, to uh, return or retrieve the Mask of Life and return it to its rightful place. The game Bionicle Heroes is going to be out uh, worldwide early November, and it's going to be available on PlayStation 2, GameCube, Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, and PC. The game itself um, doesn't necessarily follow the uh, 2006 Bionicle story, um, with very, very strong reasoning behind that. Um, obviously, the, the, the story is, is, is very complex, as you, as you, as you well know. And, and what we've tried to do is create the, uh, the, the most fun and uh, rewarding gaming experience we can. And in order to do that, we've, we've taken, obviously, the fact that, uh, that the Paraka are on Voyanui and that the Anayaka are on Voyanui and that they're searching for the Mask of Life but a lot of the story threads that, that go back through the various years we haven't focused on. We have some questions from several BZ Power members. The first one is from Iruni Nuva, who asks, what did you learn through making this game? Uh, for, through making the game, we actually, as, as a development team, we, we learned an awful lot. Um, we knew, obviously, about Bionicle, and we were aware of the property and, and the brand. Uh, we didn't realize just how passionately uh, you know, people from PZ Power and, and the, the rest of the world um, felt about uh, Bionicle and, and just the, the huge fan base that, that, that Bionicle has. So that was really eye-opening, just to see just how big the brand is. Tolkien would like to know, how involved were you with the actual Bionicle storyline during the process of making the game? And did you keep track of the storyline and toy line at all while developing the game? Regarding the 2006 Bionicle story, um, we actually made a conscious decision um, not to run alongside, you know, parallel to, to the, the main story thread, um, because we felt the game would be better um, with the story that we've created, because we can obviously bring into it um, characters that, that, that Bionicle fans will recognise from throughout the ages, you know, characters like the Borok, characters like Sidorak and Rudarka, uh, and we can incorporate them into the game. Our story is very similar. Um, you know, you have the Paraka on Voyanui, the Paraka are creating carnage and chaos. Um, you know, the, the Matoran villages are, you know, in disarray and, and they're working as slaves and, and having to do the Paraka's bidding. Um, and what, what we've done, the, the player as a hero arrives on the, uh, the island of Voyanui and they immediately meet a Matoran who really, you know, he's not very happy. <laughs> it's his whole island and his whole people are being you know, decimated. Um, and the hero then basically is, is, is immediately empowered with the, the Toa's mask and, and the Toa's ability and has to set out to stop the Paraka and to basically take the mask of life you know, from where gamers will find what it is and return it to its, uh, its rightful place. Um, and as such, you know, we do have a lot of older characters in the game which, which fans will love. And in order to cover that, what, what we do in our story is the Paraka have basically transformed Voyanui from this lush, lavish island. Um, and all of the, the, the wild animals and, and the Rahi basically have been you know, transformed, uh, you know, however you would want to term it, into characters from Barnacle past like the Varki, like the Visorak. Um, and, and as such, the player will then be encountering all these cool sort of figures and characters from five years worth of Barnacle.